Are you ready for Faris Kuchi? Hey, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Your doll is back and back and back again. Um, how are you doing? How, are you having fun? Yeah. Well, I hate to uh, break it to you, but like, you know, in some beliefs, having fun is not a uh, good thing. It's a taboo. <laughs> so don't look at me funny. I'm just delivering the message. Uh, but like, you know, uh, I'm just going to tell you a very secret thing. Today's theme is about taboo. In case you haven't picked it up. Um, and like, you know, for me, these... Aggression starts from the name, how it's pronounced and how it sounds. Taboo! It's like it's very pointed. You know, the name itself, but as an entity, is very pointed and I'm already offended. Like, you know, I'm like, Ugh, what? What is this boo? I'm already being attacked. Yeah? And like, it's like, I would be like, whenever I think about taboo, I would be like, hmm, it's like, you know, random words would come to me. And then I would just be like, you know, mm, it's giving hypocrisy. <laughs> it's giving discrimination. It's giving embedding of freedom. It's giving, you know, inadequate sex education. And the list goes on. Like, you know, but like, you know, this is what I think when I, like, you know, taboo is in my, like, you know, when I hear the voice, I'll be like, hmm, these are the things that comes in my mind. But like, you know, there are other people's, they would think taboo and I come in mind. <laughs> <They would. laughs> I'll be like a living, walking, smelling good, um, and amazing taboo. And I love it. I really love it. You know? Yeah, uh, like, it's just like, you know, all these taboos are just like nothing but like buffoonery, fuckery, and foolishness. And crafted in these three main three categories, like, you know, one is religion. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> and the other one is culture and food. But like, religion always like jump into these other categories and really like, you know, interferes. So it's basically like, you know, we, we call it culture and food taboos and religion taboo, but it's all religion taboo. They're all like, <laughs> you know, imagine if these things, like these three categories, religions, food, and cultures are humans in our days and age, religion basically would be Karen, you know, <laughs> going around as like, ooh, 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 really like, you know, attacking the food and the culture. But like, when I say Karen, Karen is a very gender neutral expression that embodied, you know, volunteer people who jumps into policing people. So I meant there is Calvin and Kevin and all like you know all of this. So it's I I'm, it's, it's it's very gender neutral. It's very inclusive. Okay. So it you know it's it's really like. The hypocrisies of all of these taboos is so amazing, astonishing, and endless. But like in all of it is like, you know, I the hypocrisy is amazing. It's always like, you know, like really like wow. 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 You know, you just there would be like one taboo about eating. They would tell you, do not bring religion into dinner table. And then just turn around and then they say, you cannot eat without saying grace. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I thought you said no religion on the table. And you'd be like, the same religious taboo that says, you know, LGBTI is um, abomination because it's unnatural. And then, bam, turn around and say like, oh, People who menstruate cannot go to the church because it's unclean. And I'm like, making mess sense. That is very natural and still taboo. But this is unnatural, it's still taboo. I'm like, oh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You know, make it make sense. Um, 
and then also the same religions that really like, you know, um, homosexuality, we don't like them, and then come up with calendar like this. <laughs> this, is, this is a birthday gift from one of my favorite friends, my favorite birthday gift, and from 2021, this is a calendar made by the Vatican. The first time I got, I got it, I was like, what in the porn hub is going on? <laughs> like, you know, it's giving only fan profile account. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what? I'll be like, eh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's, like, it's really astonishing. Y'all, <laughs> y'all. There is one porn star who look like this. There is one. You know, you cannot lie to me. Like, you know, I know, I know. This is, this is really uh, like, you know, the hypocrisy. My, my favorite is this one. There is even action going on. It's like, what well, fit me, yes. Ah. And, and then just like, you know, turn around, it's like, homosexuality is an abomination. Fit me. <laughs> Sir. What is going on? It's really amazing. But like, you know, the, like on a serious note though, like all of these taboos and everything would really like, you know, inhibit our abilities to really like, you know, just be the very natural and the very mundane things that we do in our daily life, on, on our dailiness of life, and really take away that. Like, you know, for instance, the very mundane things we do, shitting. It's really like, you know, like there are some situations that is really taboo to shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> oh. um, but it's like, imagine, I don't know, uh, how, ma how many of you are like me? Like, you know, if, I, um, like, I'm, if I'm invited in a stranger place, like, you know, in a person place that I do not know that much, I mean, I will hold it till I die. I'm not gonna go to number two. It's not gonna happen. It's not, it's not gonna happen. I will just hold it for however long. And then the first things I, can't, I do when I get to home is like, move, I need to be. Move. I need, you know, to go number two. As like, you know, my housemate would be like, you know, hello, so do I know you? Move. I need to. And imagine if, if the housemate is uh, already occupying the toilet. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's, it's always a disaster. But like, you know, you have like one bestie that you're like super comfortable with, but like, you know, who lives in a very small place, you know? <laughs> The toilet is here, the kitchen is here, the bedroom is here, and the living room is here. And then they're so excited and they invited 80, 80 people to the party. And you do not know half, more than half of them. And you hold and you hold and then like, you know, but you have to go eventually. So like, you know, you just go inside the toilet and you'll be like, <sighs> So many things goes on, <laughs> you know? So you're like, you know, how do I manage the sound? <laughs> what kind of strategy can I come up with, you know? Sometimes you can play your mobiles, like, you know, loud sounds and everything. But, like, you know, I do not know about you, but I have one strategy. What I would just do is, like, you know, I'll just sit and then just wait a little bit and then flash and, you know... <laughs> 
and then like you know also that way also when I'm just going number two and then I'm like you know in my head in my really like you know silly head I always think it's like you know if I just flash it right away when it's dropped then like you know it's not gonna smell I'm set it's good but that never happened I always flashed but the smell is still there it's just like you know Oh, you know, oh my god, oh, I cannot do this. And then you just be like, um, let me just open the window. And then if it is, you know, winter, you're already getting a draft and like coughing. It's like, it's just like, you know, it's just going to be like, you know, a disaster. You'll be like, ah, help me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, and then you just finally find the courage and then you just stepped out. And everybody's just looking at you straight in your eye. You'll be like, hi, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and like, you know, the smell has already developed a persona and a very angry persona. And it's already out fighting, punching everybody. They'll be like, boom, <laughs> And everybody is holding their breath. <gasps> And you know that you, they are holding your, their breath and then you just be like, uh, to avoid that awkward moment, you'll be like, hello. <laughs> and then they'll be like, you know, everybody's so nice and polite. <laughs> so they'll be like, <laughs> just looking like constipated raccoon. <laughs> yeah. It's so, it's like, you know, why are we doing this to ourselves? Let's like, just like, you know, you know, just let, let, let the smell come out and punch everybody, you know? <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's going to be around, you know, when you come to my place, you know, you know, I know you're gonna punch me <laughs> and I'm gonna punch you. So it's like, you know, it's just going to be a mutual, yeah. So thank you everyone. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Before, before I go, I would like to just uh, shout out and stand in solidarity with my queer siblings in Uganda who are currently being under a lot of attack. Uh, I would like to stand in solidarity with my siblings in, in, um, in Ghana who's been under attack for the past two years. I'm sorry, I'm bringing like, you know, boom, 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 boom. Um, but at the same time also like, you know, what's happening in US is also is really ridiculous and it really stems into what we're talking about today. So I would like to just send my vibrations and stand in solidarity with my siblings, especially trans, non-binary and gender non-conforming. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, babes.